big up YouTube, it's Think Mark Mazza with, who's very happy because it's another come shop with us, isn't it? Yay. And where are we at today, Max? We're at the Loop. We're at the Loop. Um, the Loop is a shopping area that is, I think it's in, I forget the case, is it Osceola County, it's actually in itself? I think, I think it, it is. It could be itself. So what the Loop is, is, um, is actually the East and the West Loop. It's a shopping area, a very nice shopping area, and I'll put some maps up here as I'm talking, but it is below the 417. 417 runs east to west across Orlando, south of the airport. It's above Ocala, all right on... Osceola. Osceola, get it Parkway. wrong. Osceola Parkway, which is the one that Disney built, that runs from the um, um, from the west side and runs, finishes at uh, Animal Kingdom, doesn't yes, it? Yes, it does. So dead end of that, and the roads go up to Disney from there as well. So you've got those two areas that's pretty easy to get to, centrally located, um, I say two areas with lots of uh, shops for walking around. The other thing is this is a really nice area. We looked at, there's an area here called Hunter's Creek yeah. with houses and it's one of the areas, if people say to me if I'm moving to Orlando, where should I move to? Um, I would say like Lake Nona is a nice area, where we are is a nice area, but we hunted here in Hunter's Creek, yeah. but we couldn't find anywhere in our price range. No, it's we? just quite an expensive area. Yeah, so we know these, these shops quite well because um, we were hunting all around this area and there's a whole new load of construction over there in the distance. We are, our Airbnb that we're getting is quite close to here yeah. and I was surprised there's a ton of, mainly apartments aren't they? Not single family homes but apartments here. So we'll walk you around, there's lots of eating places as well, we are going to eat at some point today. As we go around, um, you guess where we're going to eat because we'll kind of, I think we'll do the tour of all of them. Yeah. Then we'll wrap the vlog with going to eat somewhere, somewhere around here as well. So join us, come shop with us round the loop Kissimmee yeah so we're starting on the west side of the loop and there's a TJ Maxx there and a deed SW shoes here and then there's a pet um, this is a pet, bakery. pet bakery over there and we're going to come down here and then you see in front of us bonefish and we're going to start at bonefish and work our way down there are a number of houses as well I looked at there's a roundabout if you come in here and there's a whole housing estate and we were looking at some houses there but it does back on to Osceola Parkway we were looking at houses there, we were looking to buy. Yeah, so I say, yeah, yeah. yeah. Actually seeing bonefish behind us brings back lots of memories when we're in Virginia. Every Friday night, once Ryan learned to drive, we used to take the pickup truck down, didn't we? The old uh, one I bought on eBay. Yeah, and abandon it. And abandon it, and then we go drinking in that bar. Ryan was working downtown in Charlottesville. He'd finish about 11 o'clock-ish. Yeah. Um, we'd close the place, we'd be unlocking, wouldn't we? they put all the tables. Who was it, Sharif and... Um, Leo. Leo were the two bartenders. Hi, guys. They might not be watching, Probably but, uh, not but they, were, they were great guys making us cocktails. And then Ryan would come and pick us up on his way home and we'd order him the signature dish if you're going to Bonefish is a Bang Bang Shrimp. Mm -hmm. So we'd always order him some Bang Bang Shrimp, shrimp just as the kitchens closed at yeah. 11 p.m. They closed, they, they made it as just before they closed. Yeah, just before they closed and then we'd Ryan would pick us up about 20 past 11. Yeah. Last one's in, doors all barricaded with stools. Yeah. And then we'd come back and we did that every Friday night. Well, yeah. So Bonefish has some quite fond memories for us. So will we eat there? You guess in the comments below and we'll catch up with you later. So here's Bonefish, this is the start of it. Well, actually you've got those TJ Maxx we just showed you. And then there's a Pee Wee. There's some restaurants all the way down that front as well, aren't there? Oh, they have a Dime Rewards program now for Bonefish. Oh yeah. It's, uh, it's tied in with our Outback Caribas and Flamingos as well. It's part of the same chain. Yeah. So we have some hair, 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 how say it? hair salons. They have a game soccer. Do you remember these when we first moved here? They used to do like the cheap DVDs, mm -hmm. and we'd go in and um, like through the b bargain buckets of DVDs. You and Ryan would be in there for hours. Yeah, GameStop, Tropical Cafe, Smoothie, Smoothie Cafe. Yeah, empty. Just like a I think it's Nike, Nike. There's a Nike outlet here as well. It's a huge Nike outlet, isn't it? Yeah, people with the boxes of shoes. Than the, um, oh no. Gonna go and have a look? No. And next door we have a Converse shop. Converse clearance store. Interesting. Yeah, Chloe was into a Converse. We're not gonna go in any of these today because it'd be way too busy, but we may come back. Let us know if you want us to do a walk through any of these stores. We have a Zales? No, that's out, out of bounds. Nobody can ask for Zales because that's jewellery. We're not going back in there. Yeah. We have nail shop. So there's dream nails. No, it's teeth whitening, I think. Nail shop do teeth whitening. Yeah. Heard it. It's a clothes shop, isn't it? Clearance store. 
and then we have a Sketches down here. Notice we also got, uh, oh that's BJ's, that's good over there. They do good happy hours if you go to BJ's during the week. They do good, it's a restaurant chain isn't it? Yeah. They do really, they used to do good cocktails and um, half price appetizers the didn't they? Ribs. You, you like the ribs there. What were they cooked in the ribs that um, were in a... Root beer. Root beer, yes, root beer ribs. And even if you don't like root beer, they are so good because I don't like root beer. Um, Jared over there, another jewellers. We have another shoe Sketches. store, Sketches store. Hand and stone. Is that like um massage? Oh is it? Mm -hmm. Oh it's like a Bath and Body Works. No, it's a massage place. Okay. Oh Bath and Body it's Works still... is right next door. Oh yeah. Yeah. So there's another Bath and Body Works if you're looking in Orlando and you want somewhere that's a little more Let's less. See what the special deal is. Is it? So the deal is for today. For today. Ooh, some candles. Semi ooh, semi annual sale. Candles. And you could do the cooking for uh, What candles? Yeah. No, the wallflower refill. We're going to look at the sale and see if there's anything there you want. Get him. Shower steamers. Smell them. I love that smell. What is that smell? Orange and ginger. Orange and ginger? Okay. Here's your price. Oh, 5 to the 5% off there. Yeah. 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 It's a bad time when Max has got a bag on her shoulder. So these are it. That's what I need, me married to you. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Look at that. Two for that. 22. Mm -hmm. Ooh, strawberry pancake, I could eat that. Yeah, the. Uh... Lilac. Lilac bouquet. Just decorate. Nice. That one. I could do with a lamp. Mm. Yeah. Oh, yeah, you're right. Here's all the Christmas stuff again, Rita. The Christmas ones is where you discovered your Christmas one, aren't you? Oh god no. Yeah? Ah. What's that for? What? It's supposed to be Merry Cookie. Five for twenty-seven. You're gonna buy five then, are you? Got a light up design. Here's the. Watch that. Fresh pot flying. What? I don't really want a big one like that, so I never use it all, you know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. Well, I'll allow the one, but it's full on that Smaller ones. Yeah, I want like this size. Yeah, but with lilac. Like. Buy your car, I think. Oh yeah, they are. This is car fragrance. Yeah. So I'm gonna buy a thing to put on. Yeah, they're all these. You know how expensive they are, isn't it? Yeah. Poppy. Yeah. Sweet pea. It's a bit sweet, sweet. It's like the warm vanilla sugar. Happy birthday. That's the one you want. Oh, yeah. Oh, they've got one for me, yeah. Good. Hello, beautiful. <laughs> Lavender? No, I want lilac. Lilac. I don't know if that's a lilac for me. It was really cheap for me, didn't it? Did. You got two the items line. and then the line was like half an hour to check out, so yeah, you decided yeah. not to bother. The one she really wanted, the small... Lilac candle. Lilac sold out yesterday. Yes, typical. So, Rue 21 clothing. 
we have um, more clothing down here. What's this? Mandarag? Mandarag. Never Mad heard rag. of Mad rag. Never yeah. heard of that one. What is? Juniors. Juniors clothing. Kids, you mean? Teenagers. Teenagers. Guess is clothing, isn't it? We have a guess store here as well. Then we have a frozen yogurt and acai bowls attend to do. Tommy Hill finger, as we like to call him. It's not an outlet though, but I mean, they're rather, I guess they're all outlets on here, aren't they? Yeah. Then we have an ultra beauty. Ultra beauty. Again, Makeup and for me. And this is something you don't see often a bookstore down here. Books a million though, so you used to have a cafe in here, didn't you? Like a Starbucks? Yeah, like coffee and coffee and books if you ever need a coffee. I'll see if you've still got one in here. They have got one because you can see the sign. Can you? Yeah. A lot of these uh, bookstores are a good place to go and get your Starbucks if you can't find one locally or, or a coffee shop anyway. It might be a Starbucks. Joe Muggs, that famous coffee brand, Joe Muggs yeah. Coffee, which may even be their own coffee brand. I'm not sure. Don't see many bookstores nowadays, do you? Big one, isn't it? Yeah, it is a big one. And then one of Maxine's favourites at the end, the Burlington Coat Factory that doesn't do. It's not called Burlington Coat Factory. Yeah, We've had this discussion on a vlog before. It's called Burlington now. Yes, because they do more than that. And then down here we have a, a good old J.C. Penny store, which is one of the big anchor stores for this. And I think there's um, no, uh, no after. BJ's and Jared's, there's no more food. I think the next ones are in the next one, aren't they? As we see, most of these stores open at 9 a.m. through to 10 p.m. here. So they're not. 30 on Saturday. Yeah, so they're not like the 11 o'clock opening ones like the other outlets. They do open earlier here. So if you want to get in here early before your park day or want to come in later, most of them are open late, but it's unusual they're open at 9 a.m. for outlets, isn't it? Most are 11? No. no. Well, the big only outlets on, are. Only on a Sunday. Okay. Most of them are open at 9 or 10. Do we want to go over to Ross or drive over? That's the next, that's, that's the main road. Jung Young Parkway kind of runs between, I don't think that is Jung Young Parkway yet, but it runs up and down north and south between the east and the west, doesn't it? Yeah. So we'll jump back in the car and we'll head over that way and see what's uh, picked up, pick you up at Ross. So we're going to just check out some of the restaurants on the other side as we're going past. The Asian one? Peewee. Pee I don't think we've ever eaten in there, have no, we? No, I don't think. If anyone's eating in a peewee, let us know what it's like. Yeah, I don't think we've eaten in there. And then the, on this corner, there's um, a Mexican restaurant. Which you don't like Mexican I food. don't like Mexican food, so we probably would never go there. You like going for a drink and a cocktail, don't you? And a free chips if and dips. St if they still do that, that was pre-Covid. And then we have the BJ's brew house next to it. We like we said Jerry. earlier, yeah. they do really good ribs. The rest of the food's pretty good too, isn't it? Yeah, it's really the happy oh, hour. Oh, and they've got hour. happy hour. See what it says there as we're coming past. Yeah, domestics, half off deep dish pizzas, cocktails a dollar off. Okay. It's quite as good as it used to be, no, but no. still there's something. Something back, isn't it? Oh, no, keep moving, yeah. keep moving. Yeah, Don't want to see that one. No, Jared. no, 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 no. Always need jewellery. Do you want to go to into JC Penny or turn up this one? You got to go to both. Well, you can only go both. I've got the, I'm just thinking how busy the traffic is. I'm going to yeah. turn this one. So there's JC Penny. We're not going to close because there's cars all backed up there. And maybe we'll go down this one. Not away from the main entrance. Lots of parking here, isn't there? There's tons of parking. Like JC Penny, there'll be nobody in the store. No, it's not usually. It's usually pretty quiet. Good place to go to JC Penny to get your jeans and stuff, isn't it? At least price yeah. them up. And trainers. When they have deals on, they are really good deals. Yeah. They call the blue something deals, are they? Uh, I don't know anymore. I don't really go very often. They call the blue ticket deals and the blue something deals. Mm -mm. Was that Sears? Mm. Yep, your side of the road, my friend. Is it? Is it? Four way stop. Yeah. And then we're going to go straight across the road to Ross. Over to where Ross. Show you before the um. The um, John Young Parkway is the other side of this group of shops, which is the east side. They are the other side of the east side of shops. 
so we have to stop but traffic Every, coming up and down doesn't no they all have to stop it's a four way yeah it's just a big busy yeah. so if you're in a four way stop you just take your time wait for your turn to go it's not that hard is it no straight across or do you want to turn in this is coals let's go straight right. across i think because the length's just into coals that way that's just into coals yeah, yeah. on your right should we go up here to where the shops yep. are what's that across there famous footwear footwear uh, shoes and boots and again i never usually come this way to see ross walking over here and then we'll have a walk around and show everybody what the places to shop and eat if we can find a parking space well, it seems a little bit quieter down here than the other one that do I you see. think i think so there's a spot here there's some over there oh there's some, some there. here over here yeah So here we are at Ross, if, where I got, in fact where I got this shirt from and everything, this was a Ross shirt. So this is where we come, you get designer stuff at cheap prices, don't we here? Yeah. So you can get a lot of um, Tommy Hilfinger and Michael Kors. Yeah, you just gotta be lucky You just gotta go in and do like a search the racks, haven't you? Yeah. To get in here. One of Maxine's, one of my worries about getting the Airbnb close to here is, the Airbnb is close to here. Yeah. And you'll be close to here. Yeah. Which means you can go crazy. So like we have to cross there or a little bit further down that way? Yeah. So we'll cross here. Be safe. Be safe. I mean, they've got a Coles down there. Coles is another good store. You like Coles, don't you? That's kind of um, good quality at a reasonable price. But, yeah, but Ross dressed for life. We've t I don't think we've taken people in. A we may have taken them in a Ross before. Again, comment on the vlog. Which of these stores would you like us to go in and do a, a full walkthrough of to uh, show you what's inside? Whether it be the Nike store you saw or, or Ross or um, you saw a bit of Bath Bed and Beyond. So I think we've covered that. Bath and Body Works. Right? Bath and Body Works. So yeah, Bath and Beyond is down here, I think, isn't it? Yeah. yeah, there it is. I thought I'd seen the name. This is where Nick and Lee get their cheap t-shirts from. Five Below, and we've done a we've done a vlog on this one. I'll put a link to it uh, above, so you can uh, click on that. Everything is five dollars, isn't the top uh, price anymore? But good to know, isn't it? Yankee Candle. Yep. Do you want imports? I'm doing one of those for you. So let's just go around here, Max. So Yankee Candles again, another place you can get um, your... Oh no, here we go again. Oh no. You need a lilac candle. She's still after a lilac candle. You need one for the Yankee Candle one. Somebody's in Williamsburg, didn't we? Yeah, this is where I got mine from. It doesn't smell as much as it used to. They're five bucks, aren't they? Yeah. And there's your wax melts. And all your air fresheners and smells. Is that what you're getting? Yep. Which is sorted. One on its own there in the wrong place. No, hang on. What's that one? Is that a different one? No. Nope, that one's best smelling one. Sniffing. What's that one? I have no idea if that's a good value or not. Yeah, so hold that, then you can't, you can't pick anything else if you're holding that. <laughs> That's it, I can't, I'll just give it to you. I know, but I'm not holding it anymore. I see you through your ploy now. See, they've got their own, like, Sense. air freshener ones. Yeah, do you have to have a different type but of air freshener for that? Yeah, that's what, they, that's what they make the money on. Yep. It's like printer cartridges. They're yep. cheaper, and then they have all the specialist... Uh, yeah, because these are... Let's just see how it's now. And again, if you're coming from the UK, don't buy these because they're 110 volts, they won't work. You need to get your own in the UK, 240 volt ones. The, the sensor will work, but obviously the actual um, electric parts do not work. Ooh, good night, cheers. Sounds good. I think these are there. I'm not getting as, you're not getting as many um, adverse reactions as you were from the last time you were sniffing. Oh yeah, like hangy ones. Questions? No, just about You got your lilac as well? No, lavender. You lavender. need your lavender. I know. Right, you done? Yeah. Good. Let's go. We'll get this. Yep. Line's a lot less. Yeah. In the last spot. Well, at least you got you wanted, didn't you? 
Did you say there was some other sale on there you're going to come back to? Well, what else did they give you? Incentives, isn't it? It's like uh, $10 or $30. Okay. And then the spring stuff comes out uh, next week, I think. This is P1 Imports, which I think has gone bankrupt now. They used to be all like fancy stuff for the house, didn't it? All uh, beautiful stuff, but very expensive. Yeah, knickknacks for the house. You see, there's all restaurants and things over there. We're going to have to drive around there and see what's down there before we decide where we're going to go. And this is the um, the other store that you go to, isn't it, Max? What's this one called? This is one. I don't know which one. Bath and Body Works. No, Bath and Bed. Bath and Beyond. Yeah, this is Bed Bath and Beyond. It's a little bit more of a fancier store, would you say? Expensive. I always found this one expensive. Oh, it's expensive, but it's some unique stuff in it. Towels. What? Well, yeah. Bed Bath and Beyond. What it says: towels and soaps and um, hold. Cookware. Cook, yeah. Have, you might have, you might be going in there when you need your towel things for the toilet and your. Yeah, you'll be able to get them in there. Yeah, they might have some better designs, and you're getting yeah. lows and all that lot. So the shops are all down here, in a row that we're going to go to and then we have a again I say we'll go and have a look what's over there as far as their early eating places tend to be at the far side next one is Dick's Sporting Goods which is one of the huge chains in the US anything you need sporting tents fishing rods boats um, guns uh, you name it Dick's Sporting Goods have it we used to go in there with the kids didn't we and kind of uh, I'm, I'm looking at the next one what is the next one? Another jewellers. No, oh, no, 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 no. Yeah. This is this is somewhere you should go and check no, out. No, 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 no. No, no, no. Jewellers. Yeah, I feel more manly when we're going there. It's got kind of fish hunting, fishing, and apparently there's a section with camo gear, but I can never find it. Hmm? I go there and, and all the all the coat hangers are empty. It's amazing. K okay, jewellers, keep walking. Um, sunglasses up. We've got sunglasses. And then we have um, Eris, Eris, I can't never say this one. Eripostle, which again is um, perfumes, isn't it? And no, it's a, it's a clothes shop. No, I don't know. Clothes, I don't go in there. Little Greek, second Greek restaurant you can say you've been to, Max. So they do have some eating places on this side. Smaller yeah. one. Lids, which is your hats. What's a merry. I can't even say it, a Meruino Home Opportunity Centre, okay, buying a house I guess. Claire's is like your accessories, is it? Yeah. Like Tammy, what was it used to be in the UK? Used to have in the Burnley Mall and all that lot, used to have one of those you're going to. Get your ears pierced. Oh, Johnny Rockets, burgers and shakes, looks like it's closed. No, it says open, but there's... Yeah, Johnny Rockets, we'll take you in there one time, that's kind of a... What's the other one that we go into, the other burger place? It's that style is similar. Shake and steak. Sh shake and steak? Steak and shake? Yeah. Steak and shake. Yeah. Which we actually think is better than Johnny Rockets. Yeah. And then you were right, Max, there is a Regal Cinema here. Yeah, who knew? Old fashioned one, isn't it? Yeah. Tell you what, it reminds me of the one in um, Celebration yep. design, old design. Let's have a quick look around here. Ticket booze out. I think it moves out front. It might not be open. Should be on a Saturday. Sunday. Yeah, it's pretty old style, isn't it? Some games over there. Customer service. Go get all your food. And then restrooms here, which you may take advantage of. And what's playing here? The Avatar. I don't think it's a 3D one, this though. Look at that old neon sign, like the old uh, train stations, where you can hardly read what it says. Avatar 2. Yeah. Avatar 2 3D. It is there, number 12. Violent Night, that's supposed to be a good one. Yep. This is the Avatar Puss in Boots is the main ones. I'll probably still be going when we come over here, won't it? Oh wow, this brings back memories. This was like the Briarfield uh, Unit 4. I used to play this every Sunday night, I used to go to the pictures. Pac-Man and the, um, what was it, the Galaxians? Come down at you as well. Oh, it's there, Galaxians, I think you must do it. That's the Galaxians one as well. Maybe you can pick the different games on here. Yeah, it is. Class of 91, gosh, I'm showing my age here. Wow. Max is on the way. I was, um, the, we got we got into these things in Virginia, these cinemas that had started serving food. I was completely against them. Like, if I want to watch a movie, I just want to watch a movie. I don't want to eat. But we're really excited to like them. There's a number of chains, uh, and they've probably got them in the UK as well. What I liked about them was, is um, 
you could eat and drink. I'm just talking about the rest of the cinemas you get the eating ones that I was always against. Yeah. And then we really enjoyed them because we could eat in and um, they were quiet. They, they got big seats mm -hmm. with a table between you. And then the ones we were in, the train we were in, they had a policy there that um, when, the cinema, when the show started, they locked the doors so nobody could come in, which I think was a good policy. Yep. And then also if anybody was talking on the tables, on your piece of paper that you wrote your, uh, your orders. orders on, you could nominate a table that was if they were being disruptive and basically they kick them out. But they get a warning. They get a warning first and they get kicked out. So I mean, we liked it because hey, there's nothing more annoying than you watch a film and then a party of 20 comes in wanting to sit together and trying to get you to move, which is quite common in the US. And also um, just people being noisy in general. So it was tended to be quieter, mm -hmm. more comfy seats, mm -hmm. and we got good food as well. So look out for those trains, or try them in the UK or wherever you are, because we always we uh, quite like them. But yeah, I've just seen that. It's got the older Galaxians and Pac-Man oh, wow. game that we used to play. 1981, it says, and that's for a really old. Well, we used to go to Unit 4 in Briarfield yeah. on a Sunday night. Yeah. Anyway, so I think we may pop here. When we stay at the B&B, we may come back here and uh, see a movie. Thank you. see Avatar. Yeah, in 3D. You've got to see it in 3D. No, I'll be sick. And of course, you've got a burger side one one side of the um, pictures, and you've got a Ben and Jerry's the other side for your ice creams and waffle cones. I mean, it's good ice cream at Ben and Jerry's, isn't it? And then next to your ice cream is a pizza place, of course, because you're near the pictures. These are mandatory to have near every cinema. Pizza place, an ice cream place, and a burger place. And another smoothie place. And oh, you can get your nails done. So it's always got to be a nail. There aren't many mattress places as there used to be. So there used to be yeah. a, mail, a nail place and a mattress place in every strip Timothy mall I we went not, to. Not, not What's that, tea? Bubble tea. Bubble tea. Is that still a trend now? I guess so. Homemade ramen. Tea, Nick would like that as well. Ramen and some bubble tea. Uh, what we got here? Jewelry. Jewelry, no, I don't know that name. Schwarzkopf, never heard of it. Pandora. Another spa? Keep walking, keep walking. <laughs> What's over that side over there? Is that a... No idea. Did you get nauseous for that? No idea. We're going to have to pop in the car and see what's over there as well and drive past. I know that's a CVS there. And the last one is Petco. Yeah. Go and uh, get your uh, pet, stuff. pet stuff. So we'll probably get in the car and drive around this lot on that side and see what they are and then make a decision where we're going to go and eat, won't we? Yeah. What's that on the end there? Is that? This is famous footwear around what does the that end. Mean? It was footwear, obviously. With a patina on that car, that's definitely a Floridian car. No paint yeah. on the bonnet. <laughs> yes, there's famous footwear on the corner. Yeah, and then we've got the Michaels Arts and Crafts Centre. Arts and Crafts? What paints and... Well, I think Everything. We, we popped into a Michaels before, didn't we, once before? I think Yeah, anything the... artsy. Didn't we do the... Which is the vlog that we did, um, where we didn't know... That was Ho Hobby Lobby we went into. Oh, Hobby Lobby. Is that a similar thing? Mm, no, not really. This has got all like crafting stuff, knits, knits and... This is where Tina gets all the stuff from for her models. Yeah. It? Hobby Lobby, where she likes to go. Don't worry, Tina, when you're over in the summer, we'll take you to Hobby Lobby. You can get your uh, your grass and your stuff that you get. So we've got another salon. More jewellery. Jewellery. I think it's more oh. a repair shop, that. Yeah, it is. Lens crafters for your eyes testing and glasses. Yeah. K-pot, Korean... Barbecue. Barbecue. I think that's one where they have it at the table. I'm not sure. I'm not sure if it's that or whether they've got robots that bring it to you. I can't remember. Might be an option. I'm into a noodles forever. You used to have one of those. No, that's there. not noodles. Oh, a different one. It's a Di different one. Ah, you're not keen on noodles, are you? No. T-Mobile shop. The journeys. What's that? It's more like for teenagers and stuff. Torrid. No idea what that is. It's probably a clothes shop. And then a big clothes shop at the art, you should know at the end, Old Navy. You can see one of them for a while. Yeah. Used to have one in Charlottesville, didn't we? You, like, you liked Old Navy, some of the Yeah, some of the things, I think they were quite expensive for the quality of the stuff, so I didn't shop there much. Wendy's. Well, there's Chipotle on the end. Huh? G'day, Wendy. There'll be uh, two of us dining today. Round past CVS. Down to the end. Petco is where we were over that side before. Right over there. There's an ABC, uh, yeah, just pull out on me. There's an ABC liquor store down here. This takes us back to the main road when we were coming in, doesn't mm -hmm. it? You should be able to just go back around again. Yeah. You got some shops over that side. You got an AT&T. I guess a healthcare over there. Is it the a vitamin walking? shop, spelled the wrong way. Can I turn that around? Yeah, I think yeah. This is John Lee Parkway. Yeah. Mm. 
Oh, I'm going to go anyway. Keep in this lane. Keep in this lane to come back yeah, off again. So this up. is John Lund Parkway. And this will take, actually, this is the road that we came into, on. not Yeah, this is off the Yola Parkway. Yeah. The one, as we said, runs the Disney one way, and uh, I don't know how far down it goes the other way. And just what? to your right there is where we were. We're turning right here, aren't we? Yeah, we're turning right, going, going back, back into way. the loop. Let's see if we can see anything. Have you made your mind up where you want to eat yet? Uh, not really. So let's get this going to him. Go back in again. Go back in again? We can just drive down the front here, can't we? Yeah. So this was your uh, chicken fillet. Everybody raves about chicken fillet. Because you're from the south, it's like a big deal. Go be careful because they, they fry everything in peanut put peanut oil. Do they? Yeah. So so... I'm going to have to turn in here anyway in this lane, but I will do anyway. So we can go left or right, depending if you want to go. So then, time to guess. Where did we end up for our food? I'll give you a count of five, four, three, two, one. And here it is. KFC. Yeah, we, we treated a bit, didn't we? Actually, we were this close to going to BJ's yeah. and we sat outside and we were looking at the menu, but then we found the happy hour at the weekends was only from 10 p.m. Yeah. to close. And the happy hour, like the three till seven one, was Monday to Thursday. And we just couldn't bring ourselves to go in and spend more money. Because it is a me. lot more expensive. It's yeah. quite an expensive restaurant. It is an expensive restaurant. So actually, we were just over there. I don't know if you can see the signs just over there. That's where we were. We've crossed the road and there's some more eating places over here. There is, what else is over here, Max? There's, there's um, the Four Rivers rib place that we're going to go in with Pete and Pippa. The Smokehouse. Smokehouse, we haven't been to before. There is obviously Taco Bell and KFC and, and it's a guilty secret of ours. We eat this a couple of times a year because it's not so good for you. Yeah. And then over the road there, and you can see the Starbucks sign, just where I'm pointing. That's some new things over there. There's a Starbucks. There's a Cheddar's that we've eaten to over there before. Yeah. And then over on this side, I think there's a Miller's. There's a Miller's as well down there, a new Miller's just over here. I think so. So it's a good, and again, it's literally just this side about half a mile away. of the loop. So we're going to go in, have something to eat, and um, bring you with us, and then wrap up this vlog. got a um, two-piece two-piece meal with a biscuit and some coleslaw and Maxine got a three-piece meal with some fries, with some fries. Sure. how much did it come to $15 Fifteen dollars for two of them yeah yeah it's got a little seating area and it's shared like most of these places it's shared with a taco bell so um, yeah I think there's a taco bell on the other side of the building huh. yeah you can see the menu on the other side there right inside of the menu our KFC is very bad for you, isn't it? Very so bad. How, how often do we have it? Not very Twice really. a year? Twice a year. Yeah. It's our little guilty secret. Mm. Yeah. And as, good. as I mentioned earlier on, we were this close to going in uh, BJ's, but as I said, the uh, the fact it wasn't happy hour kind of made, um, made our decision for us. Yeah. So there you are. I uh, hope you enjoyed that. We just popped across the road to Lowe's. We're going to go in there and look at some things for the home. If you don't know what we're doing with the house renovations, just check on the uh, the um, playlist for home vlogs. We're gonna go and check out some light fittings I think we need to do here. So thanks for watching today. Hope you like the come shop with us at The Loop. And um, we'll fill you in in the, in, a, in the upcoming vlogs on the Airbnb. Yeah. And um, some of the other things around this area. So thanks for watching. Um, put your comments below. If you like what we do, please like and subscribe. We try and respond to all your comments and we do thank you for liking and subscribing. And we will see thee later. Bye. Bye. Okay, let's go shop. Bye.